Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome to episode 2 of the WWE 2K17 Universe Mode. So we've got a women's championship match coming up first. We've got Becky Lynch taking on Naomi. So in the previous episode, we actually had two new champions crowned on Monday Night Raw. We had Brock Lesnar becoming Universal Champion and the United States Champion, the new United States Champion, first time ever, Sami Zayn. But we're on SmackDown tonight. We've got Becky Lynch in a title match against Naomi for the Women's Championship. So currently, there are no champions on SmackDown Live, so it could go to either Naomi or Becky Lynch. So let's get Naomi out here and let's get on with the match. So I'm, I want to stress that Becky Lynch is not the champion here. She is not the champion, so it could go either way. We don't know what's going to happen here. So I'm actually going to choose to control Naomi, to switch things up a bit. I think she should have be, probably been champion already in real life. So we're, get, we're gonna make things happen in this universe mode. So you guys really enjoyed episode one of the universe mode yesterday. I was really happy how well that video did. It took me a little bit by surprise. I was pretty impressed how well it did. So we're cranking out the uploads. We've got this today, two more championship matches today. This one, uh, we've also got an epic WWE Championship match, a triple threat match, Shane McMahon, Kane, and I think we've got AJ Styles in that match as well to determine the first ever WWE Champion on this universe mode. But we've got this match up first. So I'm playing as Naomi with her very weird purple hair. So let's see how we do in this match. This should be pretty interesting because so far, this is our third championship match in two episodes, which is crazy. I know you guys are enjoying it, so smash that like button. That would be absolutely awesome. This is you guys right now watching the video. You are absolutely loving. Now, I was actually planning on doing a My Career Mode video today, but what happened was basically my save deleted. So I lost every single thing I'd already done on the Universe Mode. So I lost the Tom Cushney core that I spent hours making. I spent ages making it, perfecting it, getting all the logos from the website, uploading them, and then I found out today I lost the save. So it, it didn't give me enough time to do a My Career Mode today. So if you're expecting that, I'm very, very sorry. I decided to do a quick Universe Mode episode because I thought that was a little bit easier to do and it didn't require any more downloads. So here we are. We've got Naomi taking on Becky Lynch. I'll definitely get out a career mode in the next few days, probably tomorrow if I'm feeling nice, but um, so far, so good, because we've got 54%, which isn't too bad, a cheeky Lufas press by Naomi, it says move variety minus 10, but I don't remember doing that move so far, so I don't know what it's on about, we definitely have not done that move yet, so let's go for a cheeky pin, because that was an awesome move from Naomi, is she going to become the first ever Smackdown Live champion Oh my god, that would be pretty awesome. So, Becky Lynch, she's not doing too great, but her model in this game is awesome. I really like the attire they've done for Becky Lynch. It looks great, but she's beating me up now. Oh god. Oh, that is not nice. That is not nice at all. Now, I know Naomi's finisher is the thing where she hits the, pe the person with the bum. She hits the person with the bum, but I don't know what her signature is, so I'm guessing we're going to find out together what Naomi's signature is actually is. I'm probably just forgetting it. I probably already know what it is, but I'm sure we're going to find out eventually. So I think Becky Lynch is very close to her signature. In fact, she's just got it. We're going to have to reverse it. I might, I might have reversed it. No, I didn't. Oh god. Becky Lynch has got her finisher. This is not good at all because I'm not good with submissions either. So she hits that finisher, the disarmer. I am fucked, but I've got a signature guys, which is all good. Ooh, that was not nice. I thought Becky Lynch was nice. She looks pretty nice. Ooh, nice. We finally got a reversal in. Right, let's hit Becky Lynch with our own move. There you go. Awesome. So, what is this signature? I want to know. I actually want to know. Let's have a look. Okay, not bad. I wasn't too shabby. Let's do a taunt on the, in the corner. Here we go. Here we go. She's off for the spear. She's off for the spear. She's actually off for the bum finisher. I don't know if it's a running finisher. Oh, it is. Ooh, nice. Let's go for the pin. I'm pretty sure she's going to kick out, but let's go for it anyway. She kicks out at two. She kicks out at two. But that finisher, is, he's, he's pretty decent. 
I'm pretty sure I put it on my top 10 worst finishes of all time, but it does look pretty cool in this game. I'm, I'm going to give it that. So, basically, Naomi is one bum away from winning the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Things are getting pretty exciting. Becky Lynch has still got her finisher. She's still got her finisher, which uh, could be pretty scary. But we're doing okay, guys. We're doing okay. Is Naomi going to become SmackDown Live's women's champion somebody commented yesterday on the video they were like why are you calling it smackdown live it's still smackdown you've got the old arena like what the hell what the hell you don't have to be like i swear people nitpick on every single thing i i, I just don't know anymore i just don't know oh god she's reversed that no there she goes what's she doing what's she doing let's get out the ring oh yes was she going for a finisher then? She might well have been going for a finisher. Oh, God. I hate this camera angle. Oh, in the steel steps. That was pretty cool. Let's get in the ring because this camera angle is just confusing me. I've also got my signature, which I did not realize. Let's do a taunt. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, nice reversal. I was just... Oh, God. Oh, God. It was not a nice reversal now. Come on. Oh, no. The disarmer. The disarmer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate this one. Oh, we got the boost. We got the boost. We got the boost. We got the boost. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? How long did that finisher go on for? Shocking. Shocking display from Tom Kushney. How long did that finisher last? I, I, I escaped it so many times. But it just did not disappear. So we hit the bum shot, but Naomi just, she just couldn't get the job done. Which isn't good. I'm sure she will be champion one day in this universe mode. But here is our third champion in the universe mode. Becky Lynch becomes Smackdown. Not Smackdown Lives, you've got to remember that. Smackdown's women's champion. Which is pretty cool, because it's exactly the same as in real life. But there you go, that looks pretty cool. Okay guys, so it's time for the main event today. We've got AJ Styles taking on not only Shane McMahon, not only Kane, but it's for the WWE Championship. I thought I was pretty impressed with this match we've made today for the main event of SmackDown Live. AJ Styles looks great, but let's get out everybody else because this is, this is going to be phenomenal to pardon the pun. We've got to pardon the pun because I always say that. But, but let, let, let's get everybody else out here. Okay, the money is falling. You, you know who is coming. It's Shane McMahon. So we've got Shane McMahon, AJ Styles. Let's get Kane out here. Things could not end very well. This is Shane McMahon's face. He's pretty scared. But here comes Kane. With not his new attire, not corporate Kane. This is the Attitude Era Kane. The original... Kane, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Imagine Smackdown Live with Kane, the original Kane, as, as, as WWE Champion. That, that, that does not sound good, but it also sounds pretty epic at the same time. Here we go. Kane, Shane McMahon, and AJ Styles in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Like, what the hell? I don't know how I thought of this, but I thought it would be a pretty good main event for SmackDown Live. Here we go, Kane. Let's, let, let's see the pyro. We've got to see the pyro from Kane. Here he comes. Jesus. Oh, this is one of my favorite entrances of all time, and I once called my hamster after Kane because I was such a fan of Kane. I don't know how you can be a fan of this scary guy, but he's just awesome, isn't he? Oh, there we go. Let, let's just get into the match. It's going to be great. Here we go, guys. Kane, Shane McMahon, and AJ Styles. So in the previous video, I didn't realize you could actually turn on who you target. Apparently, it's not all Mac anymore. So I couldn't work out why I couldn't put a move on somebody else in the match. I was, I was just really confused. So apparently, you have to press R3, which it didn't tell me this. Or I probably just skipped it. Like, I don't know. So since my save has deleted, it now tells me what to do, which is good. So, uh... Yeah, we should, be, we should be fine in this match. So we're now targeting AJ Styles. And I'm guessing when I press R3, yeah, we target Shane McMahon, which seems pretty obvious now. But um, I was used to the automatic um, targeting. It's pretty confusing, though, because you have to change it every time you want to 
sort of attack somebody. So I just did it then and just forgot to do it. So I kind of prefer it to be automatic. I don't know if you can choose automatic. Hopefully you can. So I'm currently after AJ Styles. Let's get this man. Let's get him. Look how tall AJ, uh, how small AJ is compared to Shane McMahon. Look, you have to change it every time you want to go after somebody, which is just really confusing. It's annoying. But also the automatic one can be pretty annoying. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's sort of like a lose-lose situation. Because this is annoying how you have to change it every time. But also the automatic one was pretty annoying because it just attacked the wrong person every time. So, I don't know which one's better, to be honest. Nice. Kane is a fucking beast. Oh, reversal. I've gone for that move way too much. People are going to be hating in the comments. What are you doing? Going for running grapples all the time. You freaking noob. So, let's try something different. Let's go for a cheeky Irish whip. The Shane McMahon. Are we going to see a coast to coast from Shane McMahon? I don't. What the hell happened there? From Shane McMahon to Bloody Kane. Oh my god. What a suplex. Jesus. How did he lift me like that? That is mental. I suppose there's nothing Shane McMahon isn't prepared to do. Especially when the WWE Championship comes into it. So I have no idea who I'm targeting at this moment. I'm guessing we're going to have to find out. Right, let's go for after AJ Styles. Here we go. Ooh, that, that looks really painful. This is going to be painful. Kane is going to the top rope. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, here we go. Come on, come on, AJ. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, oh, God. He reversed it. He reversed it. And he's off for the pin. Nice kick out from Kane. A very, very strong kick out. Ooh, there we go. Should we get a weapon? It's a triple threat match after all. Let's go hit somebody with a bloody stairs. Not stairs, steps. Oh god, I don't know why I climbed the top of the rope. I might as well do it. Ah, oh, what a fail. What a fail. Oh god, he's hit my signature on me. Oh god. How, how did I fall for that? What the hell? He probably meant to hit it on AJ. <laughs> it stopped halfway through. Oh, that is so stupid. And, and the referee's gone flying as well. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. The referee is out of it. So basically, Shane McMahon was hitting his signature, and AJ attacked him just before he hit it. So he doesn't have a finisher now. LOL. Oh my god, let's go. Oh! The steps have gone flying. I bet Shane is pissed now. He's basically been screwed out of the WWE Championship. Oh! I swear Shane McMahon is reversing literally everything I do. The good thing is, we haven't actually rolled out the ring, because in the previous Triple Threat match, in Episode 1, it rolled us out like six times, which was mental, because we'd hardly even been damaged. Let's, I'll just let AJ do it. I'm going to get in the bloody ring. There we go. We're rolling now. Ooh, Russian leg sweep. Awesome. Right, let's use the steps. Oh, that was definitely a move variety. We have not seen that before. Oh, no. I'm pretty sure I'm getting all the trophies again as well because my save deleted. Which is very, very annoying. Oh, there we go. We're rolling out the ring. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Shane McMahon's almost got his finisher as well, so we could really do with getting back in the ring, maybe? I mean, I can't believe we've got SmackDown's GM, actually, in the WWE Championship match. I mean, uh, abuse of power comes to mind. But I suppose I am really the GM at this current time. Oi, stop dancing around. This is a wrestling match. What are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Kane teaches you a lesson. Oh, he's rolling out the ring. So, oh, we've got a signature. I did not realise that. There we go. Take some of that, AJ. The monster is after you. The big red monster wants a piece of that WWE Championship. Here we go. Right, we better not hit him too much because I want to hit this signature. Oh, God, what's happening? Oh, he's changed his bloody targeting. What is going on? So, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, awesome. Are we ready for the pile driver? <laughs> that was just That was just brutal. Brutal. Both men are down, except Kane. Because Kane is a bit... There was two people to hit there. 
and he missed both of them and went into the steel steps. Jesus Christ. That, that, that is pretty embarrassing. That is really bad. Kane, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? I'm getting out of the, I'm getting out of the ring. We need to recover from that. That was terrible. That was really embarrassing. What was he thinking? That must have really hurt as well. Oh, for God's sakes. This targeting is so annoying. Oh, AJ, mate. What are you doing? So we haven't actually seen a sign... Uh, we haven't seen a uh, finish yet. We haven't seen the Styles Clash. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen anything decent. And Shane McMahon, he didn't even finish his signature. So, I don't know what's going on there. So we've had three and a half stars so far. Which is okay. It's okay. The last match finished three and a half stars. Which is, like, you know, pretty bang average. It's not great. But I'm sure things are going to get better because, uh... Oh, God. He's got, he's got a sledgehammer. Oh, he's gone flying. Let's get him as well. Oh, no. He stayed on. How has he stayed on? Oh, my God. Spear! Spear! It's gone crazy. It has gone Kane crazy. This is not good at all. Kane is a fucking mean son of a bitch. Oh, God. Here we go. Should we go for it? Let's go for it. The choke slam. The choke slam. The bloody choke slam. Oh! Let's go for the pin before Shane gets us. Let's go. One. What is he doing? Two. Yes! Kane is WWE Champion. What the hell was Shane McMahon doing? I mean, I think he probably thought, I better not mess with Kane. That's probably what he thought, to be honest. But now Kane is WWE Champion, which is a freaking scary sight. Holy shit. Holy shit. So we've got Brock Lesnar on Monday Night Raw. And Kane on SmackDown as World Champions. Like... Um, this universe mode has suddenly taken a very dark path. But here we go. Jesus Christ, why is he dancing? I don't know why he's dancing, but look, oh my god, look how tall he is. Why is he dancing? That's just completely breaking character. I don't know. We've got to change that. But here we go, Kane is, um, WWE champion? Here we go, that is, uh... Four stars out of five is not too shabby at all. Anyway, smash the likes more universe mode. We'll definitely have a my career mode before we get another universe mode out. Just so you guys don't get too annoyed with me. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Kane and Becky Lynch, new champions on SmackDown or SmackDown Live. Am I allowed to call it SmackDown Live? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Take care. Spike your hair.